Okay, now, the same e-lock. This one, uh, it's much more effective with the kimono, okay? I'll explain why. This one now, I need to get the top sleeve. Now, people talk about grabbing here, it's true. But for this actual technique, just go ahead and bundle it up like this. And push it across to the ground here. The reason I say it's not, I, don't, I can't plant very well like that, okay? So for this situation, hold, pin it to his hand to the ground for a second. I'm actually going to carpet it over, have this available. If his legs go straight, I pass, of course. This is a great combination to try, okay? If his legs are not straight, like that, I just simply transition, cross, and fall. This one works pretty well. Now, without here, of course, it's, you, you can try it if you have a real good grip. You can try to grab and plant. It's just that if you make one mistake, pull your arm. That's, that's the problem with this move. <laughs> Even with key, if you lose the grip with this, it could be a situation. But because it's unconventional, people are not expecting it, it works. If you try it and it doesn't work, try it again. Again and again and again. When you do something that your opponent doesn't do, uh, it's gonna be an advantage that you will have over him one day, okay? So again, holding. Of course, if he grabs my lapel, you, know, you have to peel it off. Okay. Simple, bundled up, here. Put it down on the ground. That's my pivot point. As much as an arm lock or any knee lock, I need a pivot point off this ground right there. I'm not gonna face over, plant my leg. I now have available. So the guy hides his knee here, come and step over and pass, of course. But most guys are not fast enough to do this. Hold, fall, release the grip, transition. Okay. As you can see, it's really, really easy to show in combination. If he puts his legs straight to defend, um, I won't have the knee so available. I'll pass the guard. I'll get to his back. I'll have a good situation on my opponent. Go here, so grab. If he's here, it doesn't work as well either. Pass by the knee for half guard. All right, pin it. It's going to be here available, okay? Simple. It's old fashioned. Back in 95, that's how people hold the keys, believe it or not. That was technique. <laughs> of course, now that's normal, it's accepted. We know that most of us know inside the gear is illegal, and also you can get your fingers broken. So yeah, as he, he knows already, <laughs> that's a mistake for breaking my fingers, and it's also illegal, okay? So, this is more current fashion, but I can't plant my weight and pivot very well that way. So let's use the old fashioned, notes. people are like, what the hell is this guy doing? He's from, he's an old man or something? Because the older Brazilians, this is how they were taught, way back in the day. Pin it down by the stomach, turn over. For one second, I almost did a cartwheel motion, I turned over. This is sort of combination really well. If he hides his foot at all, okay, I have to move in and pass, okay? Usually the guy, put your, just put your leg straight, way away. I can maybe force it, but why? Just take it, simple, peel off, simple. Wait, transition, put your opponent hips down, yeah? But usually the guy is caught like a deer in headlights, yeah? and it's time to go for the knee lock and finish it. Not expected. This is just simply just called the cartwheel knee lock. Pin, over, fold. Right? People can teach this stuff, they'll try to do knee compressions from here. But it, then it works. It's just that some guys won't tap them. So I prefer to make the straight knee lock effective here and connect right away. Same exact move, just turn the reverse way. Cartwheel knee lock. So here, pin it, step over. Boom. Available, knee lock. If it goes straight, step over. If he hooks his foot under, oh, smarter guy. Be careful. If you try to jump your leg out, you won't reach it. Simply, you gotta push your leg down and slide off. That's one detail. What people will try, they'll try to like, can't go anywhere, okay? Look, it's difficult. Hey, it'll lift me. Look at my hips. Yeah, you can't follow that, okay? No? Simple. It's a good grip. This is actually a little bit better, but not for this technique. Here, simple. Pin it, okay? Pin the guy's arm across the chest, he can't move it anymore, right? Cartwheel around, and this is a great way to pass. You almost hit the back of the opponent, and if he's uh, trying to keep you in half guard, his leg will be available to finish by knee lock. Extremely effective. Without gi, you need a good grip. You can do without gi, but he is more dangerous. More likely to slip, more likely to give the back. So this is something I do more for if we have a kimono on.